Hello, this is a virtual microscopy slide of condyloma or genital wart. And this is the normal epidermis, the dermis, and then the subcutis. And of course, this very abnormal area where we can see the lesional tissue protruding from the skin. This is the area of the condyloma or the wart. Let's have a very quick look at the uninvolved epidermis. And we can see that this is stratified squamous epithelium, where the cells at the base have higher NC ratios, and then there's maturation towards the surface, where the cells have lower NC ratios or more cytoplasm. And then there is a surface layer of keratinization. In this abnormal area, we see many of these finger-like projections. These are papillae. So we have papillomatosis, or many papillae, and each papilla is composed of a fibrovascular core covered by epithelium. Here is the fibrovascular core where we can see fibrostroma along with some chronic inflammatory cells. We have lymphocytes and plasma cells, and we also have blood vessels containing red blood cells, hence fibrovascular core. This in turn is covered by stratified squamous epithelium, which shows some abnormal features. When you look at the surface of this epithelium, we can see that there is some keratinization. However, the nuclei of the squamous cells are retained throughout the keratinized layers. This is known as parakeratosis, and this can be a feature of condyloma. In addition, we can see that there are some cells here which look quite abnormal. On higher magnification, we can see that the nuclei of these cells are somewhat enlarged. They have very irregular nuclear membranes. Here we can see this indentation. And they look kind of wrinkled or a bit like raisins or raisinoid. In addition, we also see very strikingly that there are these clear spaces or empty looking spaces around the nuclei, and these are known as perinuclear halos. The combination of these nuclear abnormalities with the halos is known as coilocytic change, or coilocytic atypia, or coilocytosis. And coilocytic atypia is quite classical in human papillomavirus infections. So condylomas in the genital region they tend to be sexually transmitted and are associated with HPV or human papillomavirus infection. Here again, we can see coilocytic change or coilocytic atypia. And you will notice that the coilocytic atypia is more prominent close to the surface of the epithelium in the lesional area. Let's learn a bit more about condyloma. Condyloma, also known as condyloma acuminatum, or wart, in this instance, genital warts, they are tumor-like growths on the penis or genital regions, and they are associated, as mentioned, with HPV infection. They are benign, and usually they are sexually transmitted and associated with a low-risk types of HPV, HPV 6 and 11. And they appear as skin-covered protrusions. They can occur on the penis, scrotum, perineum and anal region and grossly we will see this cauliflower or warty papillary looking protrusion from the skin here is an example of an anal condyloma and these lesions may be flat or papillary microscopically as seen there is papillomatosis and acanthosis this means that the squamous epithelium is thicker than normal. So if you compare the squamous epithelium here in the lesion with the normal epidermis, you will see it's much thicker in the lesional tissue. These papillary protrusions will have central fibrovascular cores and there may be surface parakeratosis. As you can see here on higher magnification, Sometimes there is also hyperkeratosis. This means that the keratinized layer is thickened, but we do not see these retained nuclei. And here we can see the coilocytic atypia with enlarged wrinkled nuclei with irregular nuclear membranes. 
surrounded by this clear perinuclear halo. One of the differential diagnoses is verrucous carcinoma, which is malignant, as the name suggests. This tumour has a pushing, broad, invasive front, and on microscopy, it does not show this cholocytic atypia, and HPV in situ hybridization is negative. However, grossly, it can appear quite similar with a cauliflower-like mass. Here are some examples of annotated microscopic pictures, and these can be found in our free online resource path web. You can find the registration link in the video description and you can register for free. In summary, this is a condyloma or a viral wart which can occur in the skin as well as in the anal genital region. And what we see is a warty growth. Microscopically, there is papillomatosis. There is acanthosis or thickening of the squamous epithelium. There may be parakeratosis, as we see here, or hyperkeratosis that we do not see here. And in addition, there is coilocytic atypia. Condylomas are benign lesions and are associated with HPV infection. Thank you.